Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in this biochemistry work, another book that you can read is a book called uh, by Hal Huggins called Who Makes Your Hormones Hum. He's one of the most knowledgeable dentists in the United States today, and he studied with Page a few years before me and actually got me interested in Dr. Page's work. So his book gives a, a good overview of uh, Dr. Page's work also. Dr. Page, I believe, discovered the Rosetta Stone of endocrinology. In, in other words, his calcium and phosphorus ratio provides a key to supplement dosages for glandulars and also for the correct supplements. Unfortunately, most endocrinologists don't know this yet, but it is a very valuable tool. Now, if you decide you're low in posterior pituitary and go out and get a bunch of posterior pituitary and start taking it, you can make uh, things worse because you have to actually take the exact amount that you need because the posterior pituitary opposes the adrenal cortex. So if you take too much, you actually suppress your adrenal cortex and, and you'll be less resistant to handling stress. So you have to take the exact amount that you need. And the dosages are very small. They're generally around one eight hundredth of a milligram to approximately six one hundredths, uh, one eight hundredth of a milligram to six one hundredths of a milligram. So the dosages are quite small. I've been asked in the past, uh, what about panic attacks? Is anything is any of this related to panic attacks? In my practice over the number of years, I've come in contact with three patients who were underactive, who had, were subject to panic attacks. And all three of them were underactive posterior pituitary. So posterior pituitary or panic attacks may be a form of rapid cycling that occurs in manic depression. So it just may be a variant of the rapid cycling. Alcoholics, Page claimed that most alcoholics are hypo posterior pituitary because they drink a lot of liquids. They usually have a craving for sweets and, uh, and plus a craving for alcohol. So part of treatment for alcoholics would be to supplement with them with posterior pituitary if they need it. Now Paige measured a softball team in Florida and all the members of the team are all over 80 years old. And they proved out to have an almost ideal glandular pattern. So it's just when you get deviations from a normal pattern that you'll start getting degenerative diseases. Paige also said that TDIE, which means the diet, is everything. He also believed in the ancestral diet. In other words, if you have light-colored eyes, blue, gray, or green eyes, you're going to do well on a diet that's high in meat and fish. Because your ancestors over 200 years were, ago were uh, hunters and fishermen. If you have dark colored eyes, they were probably more farmers, so you can eat a diet that's higher in fruits and grains and some meats, but not quite not as much meats as, uh, as uh, someone who has light colored eyes. So what can you do uh, like tomorrow to figure out what's going on? You can get my book, The Hormone Mess, and you can measure yourself and see what your glandular pattern is. You can uh, get a urinometer and see what the sp specific gravity of your urine is. If it's low on a good on the page diet phase one, then you're low in posterior pituitary. You can order your own blood test from lifeextensionfoundation.org. Order a blood chemistry and a CBC, and then ch and be on the page fundamental diet. Uh, phase one for three days prior and a 12-hour fast and then get and check the calcium phosphorus ratio plus your blood sugar. Your blood sugar should be around 85. So these are some of the things you can do uh, on your own to determine what's going on with your glandular pattern. There's also an article by Paige uh, on my website www.pittsburgh-dentist.com on the posterior pituitary gland. So these are some of the things you can do. Now, also on diet, uh, if you have trouble digesting wheat, you can try uh, using rye because Paige claimed that rye has been in our culture longer than wheat and you can metabolize that easier.
Thank you. This is a graph of someone uh, who has manic depression. And the, the normal uh, glandular pattern for this person would be along this solid black line here. This is the thyroid quotient here, posterior pituitary here, and this is anterior pituitary here. So the patient is very underactive in posterior pituitary and somewhat underactive in anterior pituitary. But this is a typical graph of someone who has uh, manic depression. If you take too much posterior pituitary, you can you you move your graph down this way, where the posterior pituitary is below the reference line and it's actually overactive. This is a graph of someone who, because of their gene inheritance, has an overactive posterior pituitary gland and an overactive anterior pituitary gland. But the treatment for this is entirely different. You have to. In this kind of pattern, you're taking away from overactivity of the uh, whole pituitary. Thank you. On my next video, I'll show you uh, Parent Screen, which is a simplified version of the page measuring system that all parents can use to determine the glandular pattern of their children. And it's only checking for one gland. You're checking for the posterior pituitary gland. I believe that all children should be measured by age six, and actually if they're deficient, they should be treated by age six, from six on. Uh, so in parent screen, it's, as I said, a simplified version of the page measuring system, and it's screening for one deficiency, which is posterior pituitary gland deficiency. In the United States today, 88% of women are deficient in posterior pituitary to some degree, and 39% of men are deficient. And plus, uh, I believe that deficiency is increasing with each, with each succeeding generation. It's a cause of, uh, also a cause of uh, obesity too, and type ti uh, 2 diabetes is starting to appear early and earlier in children. It used to be just a disease of uh, adult onset uh, diabetes, but it's now starting to show up uh, younger and younger. Thank you.